Hello there, magic maniacs! Oh god, no, I'm not gonna start like that. We'll do some editing and post. Uh, hi, I'm Mirkov, and I'm gonna be doing, uh, this half-entry Magic 2019 quick draft, whatever that means. This is a stress test event, so... I guess that means, like, we're gonna try this game out. Um, so right away, what we're seeing is we got this Lightning Mare, pretty good. Uh, Dryad Green Seeker, pretty good. Uh, some okay blue cards, uh, but really those are kind of the two. What is this? Nightmare Thirst? Gain a life. Target creature gets minus X, minus X. Or X is the life you gain for this turn. Yeah, we're just going to go with Green Seeker, I think. I think Green Seeker is powerful enough as a first pick. It's a card draw. Here we have a Rabid Bite, we have a Sovereign, I like Sovereign. Um, lose 3 life, you gain 3 life. It's not too bad, still a 3-4 flyer. Uh, that'll get the job done. Is that better than a Rabid Bite? Not sure yet. Uh, maybe. Mm. So this is going to be my first draft in this... Uh, Arena. I've never played uh, this before. We can see we're in the beta now. So I don't really know how this is going to go. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, just being very indecisive here. Uh, we also have a Valiant Knight, actually. And maybe this is worth looking at. Um, this would be just good for knights. 3-4, other knights get... Plus one, plus one. Knights get double strike. Uh, that's pretty good, too. Maybe I'll take that. Um, I don't really know what the knight deck looks like. Uh, in fact, maybe I want to just take a moment and look that up. Yeah, that's it's pretty much not gonna happen. <laughs> so the big question is, am I gonna edit anything in post? Probably not. I feel like that night guy is pretty good. But now that I'm looking, I'm not actually seeing that many knights. I guess there's a drill master. There's Gav gallant cavalry. Yeah, we're gonna take a knight. Uh, I think we're rewarded a little bit here. We see a Take Vengeance. Um, that Drill Master might come around. Uh, we also have this Enigma Drake, Bone to Ash. Those are pretty decent. But I'm going to Take Vengeance. I think we're off to an okay start. Um, Blanchwood Armor here is a possibility. Uh, Colossal Dreadmaw, we're going to get plenty. Hexproof removal, we don't really care. Uh, Rustwing Falcon's not that exciting. We're gonna take the armor. Here, I think it's gonna be Drill Master. Um, there's really nothing else for us. A Scholar Star is not bad. Highland Game is not good. So yeah, we're gonna take Drill Master. Get our first Knight combo. We have a Bristling Boar, which I think is a pretty decent 4-drop. And we get to stay on color, which is nice. Uh, so it should be noted, I have no idea how this works. Obviously, we're not waiting for any particular person. Um, it's probably something similar to the way Eternal works, if you've ever played that. I think uh, Thornhide Wolves is quite possible. We could take Invoke the Divine for artifact and enchantment removal, though. Um, I don't really see that being useful. Naturalize, same kind of thing. Here, there's, um, Child of Night is, I guess, okay. Rock's Oracle, I don't think is going to see play. We could take a Foul Orchard, um, just to hedge against maybe there's a black card we want to play somewhere. And, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good enough about it that I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we have this Oaken Form. Oaken Form, I think, is acceptable. It's not 
really a card I want to be playing. I think Inspired Charge. Uh, Inspired Charge here is probably good. So we'll take that. And we want to be careful because we're getting a little bit uh, low on creatures. We have some pretty good creatures from the ones we have, though. Mighty Leap is fine. Yeah, we'll take Mighty Leap as a trick. I really don't want to be playing Knight's Pledge. But I also don't want to be playing Reliquary Tower. So we'll just take Knight's Pledge. So I don't know how signals even work here. I'm pretty sure they just don't. Uh, I'll take a double cast. Yeah, so I don't know how to sideboard. <laughs> we'll figure it out, I guess, as we go. Uh, I got this Leon in Vanguard, which is a source of life gain, can be a bit aggro. Millstone, uh, Rustwing, I really don't want to first pick a Rustwing. Could take a Sift. It's not really the colors I want to be in. This is just a cat soldier. It's not even a knight for a beautiful uh, knight play. Uh, yeah. Considering that, I think I'm just going to take Rustwing. Because I'll probably play it. I think it's perfectly acceptable. Druid of the Cowl, Angel of Dawn, Exclusion Mage, Giant Spider. I think, oh, there's a nice Skeleton Archer. Uh, I guess the question right now is, do we want the Angel of the Dawn, or do we want the Druid of the Cowl? Uh, I'm seeing, you know, we're mostly in the white. I think white is our, maybe our better cards for now. So we're going to take, I think, Angel of the Dawn. Pass up that Druid of the Cowl. Angel of Dawn? No, the Dawn. Okay. Yeah, we got a Militia Bugler. That's really nice. Really nice for a deck. Second Angel of the Dawn. Uh, Manolith, if we want to splash. But we're not seeing anything splash worthy yet. Here. Probably just a Ghost Bark Twins. It's not really a card I want to be playing, but I'd much rather, I think, have a Ghost Bark Twin than a Knight of the Tusk. Though I guess it does play well with that, but that's just one card. It's not a big deal. I think having a 7-7... Seven, seven, uh, it's probably pretty good. So we'll take it. It's, it's a bit high uh, on the mana curve. Fountain of Renewal could keep us in the game. Um, we're short on three drops, I guess. Don't really want to be playing the Basilisk, though. Um... Yeah, I mean, it just keeps us in the game. It gives us some life gain. Um, I think most of the cards that benefit from life gain are in the black deck. White-black. Could take Invoke the Divine. But I think we're going to get plenty. Could take a Line Breaker. That's just a soldier. And does not benefit. So... Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, here, Field Creeper is fine. Root Snare is not good. Lots of the, some smoky blue cards coming late. We'll take the Field Creeper. I think a second Bristling Boar, but a Gift of Paradise is also worth considering. We don't have anything worth splashing yet, still. We want to keep our eyes open for good black cards. Daylight, uh, Daybreak Chaplain. Uh, some healing, potentially. Yeah, in fact, we're really short on two. And I'm going to take the wrestling bar. We'll just have to be aware. Uh, plummet. Plummet, I think, is going to be the pick. Here, it's going to be a millstone. Uh, here, I am going to take Highland Game, just because we are low on two. I'm going to take a uh, 
It's like a second inspired charge. I don't think we'll play it. Stitcher supply. No. Uh, here it's going to be a Knight of the Tusk. Here we'll take the Line Breaker. Root Snare. Swamp. Okay. Um, I think we have a nice payoff here for some of our picks. We got a Johnny Pride Mate. This is a real threat at 2, which is what we want. And it uh, powers up on life gain. And we managed to pick up a couple uh, life gain earlier. So we're going to take the Pride Mate. Um, Trusty Pack Beast is not bad. We have a third Bristling Boar, which I don't think we need. Take the Pride Mate. Uh, here we have a Task, or sorry, Drill Master. And that Drill Master is probably going to make that deck. Yep, definitely going to make the deck. Could splash in maybe an Aerial Engineer, but I don't really see that happening. We have a Novice Knight. This would be not too bad, but we don't really have equipment. We have a Knight's Pledge that uh, maybe we'll play, probably not. Might still play the Oaken Form and Blanchwood Armor. Uh, here, we're, Strangling Spores is pretty good. We might consider splashing the Strangling Spores. We could also consider splashing uh, Titanic Growth. So... That's a good question. Uh, I think we're take Strangling Spore. I think that's probably the right choice. Uh, here we can take a Sky March or a Gallant Cavalry. Oh, this is how we... This is how we sideboard. Alright. It's a bit awkward, but it works, I guess. Stone's not going to really see play. One inspired charge is probably fine. Remove the swamp. What about 24? Not including that land. So we're we're going to cut it a little bit. Uh, the question is mainly do we want the Gallant Cavalry? Uh, which I think the answer is yes. Uh, or do we want Recollect? I think Gallant Cavalry will do the job. We have an Elvish Rejuvenator. Uh, look at the top five cards. Get a land. That's not bad. Um, it does draw us what goes on the battlefield. Yeah, it does help us ramp for maybe an early turn five. Though I'm not super thrilled by it. I think we have enough two drops here that I don't really need to uh, slam this Sentinel. But maybe. Maybe the Sentinel's fine. Rejuvenator is just ramp. Um. I'm gonna take it. I don't exactly know what I'm doing quite yet. Uh, Rise from the Grave is not too bad. It's a cat warrior. It's not what we want. I think we take a Rise from the Grave. Splash Strangling Spores and Rise from the Grave. That's probably doable. Um, here we can take a Titanic Growth.
We have a Satyr Enchanter, but this is not what we want. I think we just want a Giant Spider. Um, alternatively, we can take a Foul Orchard. We don't have that many Flyers, though. Would be really nice to have that. Hmm. What do we do? Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Uh, Pack Beast can get an artifact. Um, we don't really have artifact other than Fountain of Renewal. I don't really see this being useful. But I don't see us really using a second plummet, but whatever, we'll take it. Uh, I'll take another Highland game. Just in case. At this point, I don't see a reason to take Root Snare. Uh, so we'll just take that. I think Recollect is good. Just take some cards we're not going to play. Okay, something about collection. All right, so I have no idea how uh, <laughs> how this deck uh, creation thing works, but we'll figure it out. Yes, please take off auto-suggested land. Tusk. Fountain of Renewal is not too bad. Um, it activates a Johnny Pride Mate. Um, and it's just good, I think. Cut that. I think cut um, target card from your graveyard to your hand. It's probably fine. I think we can cut um, Oaken Form. I want to say that Oaken Form is not going to work well. Blanchwood Armor is pretty similar, but it has a higher potential upside. I think Inspired Charge is. Maybe not what we want in our deck. Of course, it's, uh... <laughs> Can't see how many cards are in the deck. 43. So, cut three more. Uh, might be cut Ghost Bark Twins. Doesn't really seem like what I want to be doing. But it is just big. Maybe cut Fountain of Renewal. Cut Mighty Leap. Yeah, I, unfortunately I can't count. <laughs> so 42. Um, I think I can cut the Rejuvenator. I don't think it's actually going to do anything. And maybe one Highland game. This puts me at four two drops, a one drop. I think that this is probably okay.
15, 16, 17. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and, oh, maybe I should name it. We'll just call this, uh, draft one. Amazing. Uh, so as long as we get zero wins, we get 50 gems. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I haven't set all the settings to pause at all the right times. I don't really know what I'm doing. First day. But hopefully it's not too brutal. Pull control is I press control. Oh, waiting for priority. Perfect. I don't know what this Herbert West reanimator means. Uh, we're gonna keep that. I think that's playable. Not very aggro, of course. like auto end your turn or something? I don't know. We're gonna be dropping Gallon Cavalry. We're gonna hold take vengeance until something better comes along. We're all learning together, that's what's happening here. Okay, so they're playing um, blue black. Yeah, Ninja Center, not very exciting. Go ahead and drop Gallant Cavalry. Hopefully we won't get into a match that's too hard. Okay, he's anticipating. Herbert. What is this? Is this like a diamond? Am I like a no rank, I guess? Pass until response, shift under. So we have full control enabled, whatever that means, oh, resolve. That's what I do not understand how this game works. Losing some time. Um, I think Angel of Dawn attack is probably good. Trade 2 1 and a 1 1 for a 2 2. I think it's fine. Huh? Yep, pretty good. Okay, 
okay, two attacks. Uh, might take vengeance on that snapping bridge. Another Uh, yeah, we'll just no block. Um, yeah, let's go combat. Uh, in fact, I'm not even gonna attack there. I'll just attack in the air. And do I want to take three more? No, not really. Let's destroy a tapped creature. Is this a counter spell? No, this is me not tapping. Uh, I hope this this toggle looks like it just ends my turn if there's nothing I can do. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to combat. Attackers. Is this a syncopate? Cancel? Cancel. Alright. Probably should have been. Expecting that because they have four mana up. I guess I could have let out with the thorn rebels. That's fine. Bunch of cards. I mean, the nice thing is they're not really doing anything on the board. I've got three cards out and just sitting there. Attacker. Alright. Uh, they have plenty of mana up. turn, but we do pretty well. Look at this Titanic Rift to finish them off. Um, problem is they can just block everything, which is not really what we want. Fine, um, there's just a plus two, plus zero in black. I guess they could have two plus two plus zeros to kill my Thornhide Wolves. Do they really? Okay, just one.
That's fine with me. Um, yes, yeah, so we can actually attack in here for one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. You got me. Um Yeah, so I can swing in for four. Attack with Skeleton Archer, I'll double block. Should not be an issue. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, so a double block would be fine. Alternatively, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just not gonna block. I'll just attack in. Okay, combat step, attack. Attack, four attackers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, sure, that resolves. Okay, so never mind, one damage. All right. That's disappointing. turn something into a 2-4. Sure. Yeah, that's a problem. Lost yet. Combat. Attack. Uh, no attacks. Okay. We'll attack with the Vampire Sovereign. We'll have to Titanic Rift to stay in the game. Good trick. Very good against our deck. That's a mistake. 
I don't actually have the mana to play that spell, <laughs> so uh, it does not actually do anything. There's probably a button to concede, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so Alright. Oh, I see. That counts as one loss. Not a great start. Unfortunately, we're going to keep that, despite having no creatures, but we do have all of our colors this time. I'm sure we'll figure it out. forest. So our Blanchwood armor is only plus one plus one. Uh, nice. We can actually kill that. Use a strangling spores. And that's an instant. So... Yeah, I might want to play out the Bugler instead. Uh, yep. Got nothing. It's unfortunate. Here I think we just want our board to develop more.
This is any creature? Yeah, so I can take, uh, let's take some hits here, I think. So I can take vengeance and kill that. Um, it's not really going to get me anywhere. Unfortunately. I have two death touch creatures. from the grave, but this is not really going to help. I guess I can destroy that tapped creature. That also doesn't seem like it's going to help. attack here. I think I strengthen the sports uh, the archer at this point. Just like, why isn't it not uh, casting? Right. Okay. Uh, I could play Blanchwood Armor. I guess I should. But I'm really worried about the possibility of a shock. I'll just, I'll just no attack here. with a 3-2. Um, yeah, we're just going to no blocker that. So I can Gallant Cavalry, which I think I should. Because I'm actually getting low.
so we have like a six turn clock. It's not really great. I don't know what that symbol is. Does that gold or bronze? It's a mystery. Alright, there's the murder. Not great. Oh my god, two attacks in. See, that's what I get when it's my turn. Alright, uh... Yeah. Yep, I do not see this going anywhere. Uh, essentially we need to pull something good. From our deck. Chaos Wand. That's bad. Um, can play sorceries, right? This is not really going anywhere very fast. That Chaos Wand is going to probably ruin my day. Definitely getting nowhere fast. OK, 
Okay, so we have a Drill Master. We can attack in for 5 burst strike damage. Um, that's definitely uh, gonna happen. So he knows I have a plummet. It's gonna try again. Sure. What do we find? Titanic growth. Um, sure. Whatever he casts it on, I can just strangling spore. So it doesn't really matter. Cards am I not getting? Oh, I'm not getting. Oops, I'm not getting a lot of stuff. <laughs> I didn't panic. I thought there was my timer. Yeah, we don't have very much. Our um, night card went to the bottom. Pretty much our only hope is that angel. Or the knight. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I will just continue to game life. What a miserable situation for attackers. Uh, unfortunately, what this means is that they can Chaos Wand so that I will deck first. Yep, that is in fact my last spell, so they can only cast Plummet. The fact that they can cast Plummet means I actually can't cast my Flyer, huh? Alright. Um... Yep. We're completely worse. <laughs> board stalled. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, uh, we have another drill master. I'm not even gonna play it. I don't see a way that this actually helps me. I guess they can have a mind rot, which would be sad. Okay. So I believe this means that they can completely order my deck. Because they can put them on the bottom of my deck and then right?
Uh, sure, bristling boar. That sounds good, I guess. So I can drill master. My drill master. Drill master my line breaker. Don't see that going anywhere. I guess we're getting there, eventually. Very slowly. Probably not a good sign for our deck quality if we can't get past this. So I can attack with this Bristling Boar, which is fine, or I can attack with the Luxodon Line Breaker. Yeah, I think I throw it onto the Bristling Boar and attack with the Bristling Boar. Uh, they block with Rejuvenator. Uh, which is not a problem. I can almost start to go wide enough to kill them, I think. Five blockers, so I can start to go in for maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Six on the first turn, maybe more. That's probably going to be how I do it. Um, if I draw the angel, I can plus one, plus one. That'll bring me up to nine damage. Uh, if I can get vigilance, sure, that resolves. draw land. Yep. I think that's just going to be how it goes for the rest of the game. I don't know how I drew this bristling boar, actually. Um, so I can attack with everything. Or I can attack with the boar. 
the boar attacks, that will kill one of these three. He can block with the basilisk. Blocking with the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, maybe I attack with everything. I think if I attack with everything, I still lose. Yeah, six is not going to be enough. Uh, they'll kill at least two of my attackers without penalty. They should definitely be putting Plummet on the bottom of my deck. I don't know why they're not doing that. Um, sure. That's unfortunate. Cards. <laughs> wow, this is this is not good. I feel like I lose this game too. That's the problem. What do I even have? I have... I have pretty much nothing. I have the knight card. So I have like six more turns of drawing lands. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12. So I have five more lands. Oh, I see, it's the bottom in the random order, so they don't decide. Well, that doesn't make any sense, because since it's random, all they're doing is guaranteeing I don't draw Plummet. But why do they care if I draw Plummet? They, they shouldn't. I guess they can see what cards... I'm not drawing. Five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. What was that? Oh, forest. Okay. I'm not going to win on time. Uh, that thing is big. It has trample. Okay. I think that that's the time I want to attack. Maybe not. Maybe I just cast it. I think once that's down, now I attack next turn. Because if that's not enough to carry me to a victory, then I don't know what is. Do 
they did they draw land? They drew a two-headed zombie. Alright. Green guy. <laughs> I don't have any of my good cards. Well, though. Am I gonna deck? Yeah, I'm gonna deck first. Here we go. Okay. One, uh, two, three, four. Took long enough. So I can give my knights double strike, and that's definitely going to be what I do. And I'm going to go to combat, and that's going to be attack. Knight number one. Two, three. Let's throw out a bristling four. Now let's throw out a bristling twin. That's gotta be enough to win the game, right? <laughs> Back up to 20. Yeah, that's fine. I'll trade the dagger basilisk for the twins. Island Steed, kill a bat. Go ahead, hit for seven? Eight, nine, ten? Ten? Okay. Don't hit for ten. Do they not know how double strike works? I guess they have to. They have a trick, really? For strict damage? Alright, there we go. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess it counts as a win. That match felt like it was like 30 minutes. It just sort of. Claim tries. No, I don't want to claim text yet. Um, is there anything I can do? Is this deck just too slow and bad? Might just be too slow and bad. Yeah, I don't really see any solution to that problem. Not in the cards we have, so we're gonna play. All right, we are in the quick draft. We're going to resume play. Here we go. Mantis Rider. What is this, like a diamond? Is that a silver? I don't even know. Mostly what we've learned is our deck is not great. Which I think we already knew. Oh, you know, I say that, but then we get an opening like this. Which, I mean, hey. Uh, yeah. I don't know what this means. This end turn, whatever, it's fine. We'll just leave it. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Oh, it's gonna scare my turn. Two meandering rivers. That's pretty interesting. And Screen Seeker is gonna hopefully draw us into some great stuff. Cool with my luck. I think what we're what we might do is we might drill master. 
uh, just for three damage. Only three damage. Hard with the land, maybe. Yeah. Keep up dry it as a blocker. <clears throat> and then go ahead and draw land. We'll see how this goes. Last time we got pretty clogged up, but they have a lot of flyers, it looks like. Uh an artifact creature base power and toughness. Uh sure. Yep, and we'll plummet that. Five. We definitely want to drop the angel. Uh, combat, attack, and I think we attack it all three because they have vigilance. Damage. Alright. They let us even get in with the dryad. For no reason, but I'm happy. Could have saved himself two life. Yep. Not bad. Attack. Blocker phase, I'll go ahead and use this. Ability. Okay, um. Six. And this is a four six. Alright. I'll go to attack. Attack with just the Angel of Dawn. Damage. Just line bore. And Might be able to draw another land. Draw two cards, yes. So they're probably going to get in for about four if they decide to attack. They might not attack though. So I can just double block it. Skilled reanimator. Mm 
they really were gonna ruin my day. Uh, yep, that resolves too. They choose blue, I guess. Blue. Combat. Attack. Alright. Yep, let's use the ability. We just got to Alright, so we're gonna go... Combat. Attack with the angel. And I think it gives you guys part two. Uh, and... Yeah, so these are our good cards. These are the cards we're happy to draw. <laughs> Unlike last game, where we had pretty much none of our good cards until, uh, you know, another 15 minutes in. Yep, so they're gonna get back to Spice again. Play Sky Scanner. Yep. Resolve. Resolve. Draw a card. Uh, so they can attack here. Doesn't seem like they're gonna. We'll use our green. We're gonna cry. Uh, we'll go to combat. So I think we can attack here, um, but I don't see a reason to. I guess we can kill the thrilled uh, serpent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they could survive. I think it's okay. It just needs to pressure them. All we gotta do is make a little bit of space on the ground. Um, here I think I do just kill the red serpent instead. Hundred. Amazing. Okay, so we're gonna find out how long the time is. Five seconds. So, is it working out? This has got to be like a high lead, right? I don't know. How unfair. Putting poor beginner lead me all these people. We're gonna keep this. This is a really good start. We can falcon into the seeker. Get that real tempo going. Rope below. Uh, potentially allows card draw. Alright, we're gonna combat. Back into one. Let's go ahead and drop a green seeker. Get that card draw going. I'm not sure what they're going to do with those road clubs. I see. Yep, that is just fine. Uh, so, what we're going to do here, I think, is Drill Master. Falcon. 
and we'll attack with the Falcon. Attacker. Alright. Green Seeker is probably going to draw us a card, which will get us a gallant cavalry. But I guess we'll find out. Destroy a land. Creatures without flying can't block. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take that action. Okay, so you can just get in for two. That seems fine to me. I might want to just take vengeance here. No, but I, I don't think it's necessary. Let's go to combat. Uh, I'm going to attack with the uh, Rustling Falcon, I think. Unless I really want to put pressure on. Which I don't think so. And we can drop the uh, Pride Mate. Seems really aggressive. Uh, yep. They have an encyclopedia. Lots of card draw, I guess. Combat. Attack. Uh, yep. Nope, we see a recollect. So here I think we're going to check for land. We're definitely going to take it. Uh, we can go combat. So we're going to drop Gallant Cavalry. We'll have plenty of blockers. Does have a Titan? Uh, All right. so definitely fine with Plummet being used on a one drop. Fine. Alright. Here I feel like, um... Probably I just... Uh, so I can attack in for... Nine? Or I can just attack in for six. Turn Angel of Dawn, and that's it. I feel like that rogue claw is... Oh, wow. Uh, enters the battlefield, gains 7 life. Alright. That's definitely uh, annoying. Uh, I'm gonna draw that curve. Okay, so we have a plummet. That's not gonna get us there. Uh, can Angel of Dawn 
that's not going to get us there. Yeah, I feel like Angel Dawn is just the right choice. Um, so I can attack in, probably only hit for six. I don't really see a point in doing that. Collect a nothing. I think we keep take uh, take vengeance when we want to recollect it, or a plummet and then recollect it. Ah, there it is. Um, yes, you can do that. Uh, funny thing is, though, I can actually just kill the arm. Why is it? There it is. Yeah, okay. Feeling much more comfortable than it is. Uh, this has trample. Okay. We're gonna go combat. We have a titanic growth here. Um. I sort of forgot <laughs> that it was our turn, not their turn. It's not a big deal. One, two, three, they're drawing a card. Yep. One, two, yep, they're equipping. Oh, one, two, three. What are they playing? Bristleboard. Yep. That's fine. Can recollect back Titanic growth. That's almost reasonable. In case they do something suspicious. Um, Take Titanic Earth back. Uh, combat. So I can attack with everything. All of my creatures are potentially um, going to cause, cause them problems. Um... Yep, that's fine. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in for seven. Let's see, it was shock. Okay. Tricky. Uh, so I can take vengeance and destroy a tough creature, but there are none. Uh, if you rogue clip the gloves, then that's fine. Yeah, that's that's a problem. I guess I got too greedy. We can attack with the boss here. We're about to drop a Griffin Boar, which I think will do the same job. Uh, yep, that's fine. I think they probably should have taken that trade. I don't think it's gonna be better. Wait, what are you saying? I should be using headphones? That's insane. What am I doing here? I totally forgot. Okay, so he's equipping that. Yep. Combat. Is he gonna attack with it? Um, that hardly seems right. Let me just let him draw a card. And I can attack in for potentially eight. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. Um, I don't know why he would want to trade here. Yep, go ahead. Draw a card. I mean he has a way to draw a card every turn anyway. So the one extra card, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. The main effect that we're going to get here is we can uh, take vengeance on the bristling boar. And then we can swing in for four. One of the elvish, uh, elvish guys, I guess, going to block it. Encyclopedia on his own turn seems uh, suspect. Rise from the grave, a uh, angel. That's pretty decent. There's one. There it is. Uh, yep, combat. Back. So we can go in for a lot. We're gonna keep this back because it has vigilance. Yep.
I'm just gonna take vengeance. I mean, at one life, maybe they don't know how to compete either. <laughs> oh, they did. They did that. Right. Okay, we earned a prize of some kind. That's neat. We're at three wins, which I guess is... I don't know what this means. 22%, 24%, 26%. I guess that's odds. Odds of getting a bonus. Well, we need to uh, definitely get up higher. I didn't realize that in addition to being half prices, it doesn't have prices. But I guess that makes sense. Opponent's going first. Alright, this is, uh, what is this? Game 5 or something? Maybe? Must be. Must be game 5. Uh, we're definitely uh, keeping this. This is a really good hand. Dryad into this one for. Oh, yeah. So we're playing Shecky. Um, this is some kind of aggro, aggro garbage. Um, that's what it seems to be. Probably they won't attack. If they do, they have a shot. Well, and yep, let's go ahead and see. Yeah. We're going to drop, I think, hmm, Valiant Knight or Bristling Boy. Looks like Bristling Core would be pretty good against their board. Yep. So I think Bristling Core would be the answer. Combat attack. Let's use the ability. Taken three a turn, but we're healing one a turn at least. That's good. Okay, there are two. Five mana. That um, five five dragon is gonna be a problem eventually. Attack. They're not gonna keep it back. We're gonna take that. Luckily, the uh, two a turn net is not gonna be enough. I think. Especially because we're gonna be doing. Oh, there's death. Okay. Oh. The 
Okay, we're gonna see how bad this gets. Um, I think what we're gonna want is to hold Rise from the Grave for our Ghost Bark Twin. I think here we are gonna want to attack, though. Do we want to attack? We probably want to attack. Maybe not. Because they'll just block with the uh, Basilisk. Maybe not. Maybe they won't. Dragon, yep. Play the screens. Play the spider. Spider is exactly what we want to see. Um, so I can attack with this, um, but it's not going to do enough. Yeah, I could give this double strike. I don't think we're there yet. Uh, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. Unfortunately, this Draconic Disciple is going to be a problem. Uh, they do not have enough to trigger. Very nice. Yep, I'm going to take it. Here's where hopefully things get pretty good. Combat. Uh, not going to attack here. If they draw one more land, this is definitely going to become a dragon. Gonna be a problem. Otherwise, uh, if that doesn't become a dragon, we're in a good spot because we can start swinging in with our gas bark twin. Which will be killing both their uh, flyers. Yeah. Pretty good. At which point we can rise from the grave. They're gonna attack with both. Um, yeah, let's draw. Let's take it. Definitely going to block one, and that's it. We'll take three. We're still gaining one a turn, so it's really not too bad. <clears throat> Might have a shock, I guess. I guess turning a shock into killing a giant spider would be a problem. Sure strike. Alright. It's gonna happen sometimes. Okay. 
Okay, I think here we, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're gonna drill master. Valiant Knight. And then go ahead to combat. And yeah. They're dealing six a turn, which is certainly a problem. I feel pretty good about Rise from the Grave and our uh, Gaspark Twin back. They're still only on 6 mana, so they can't get a 5-5 uh, five five yet. Alright. They're gonna get some attacks. They're gonna try to go in 4-6. Yep. Spark Time Dragon. That is a problem. They're going to be able to go in for 9 next turn. However, I think here I can... Um, attack with everything. Knights I control get double strike. Yeah. Okay. Got the combat. can swing it for 9, but it's not actually enough. Yep, it's block. One blocker. Uh, could he have trample? No. He had trample. Yeah, that's what he would do. Darn. Well, I mean, I... I guess picking up the, uh, spider was the right choice. So I think two losses. Not terrible, but we'll see. See how far we can get. We really want to get up to two more wins, I think. This is big. Opponent 
is going to go first. This is... This is not a key. Uh, this is definitely a key. Forest is going to go... on top. We lost a lot of good cards to the bottom. Let's go to the combat step. Kinda wondering what they could be doing. It almost seems like they're going for the uh, psychic, uh, whatever deck, psychic corrosion. That's how we deal with that. Um, yep. I just grab the spider. Only attack with that one. So they're not playing Psychic Corrosion, they're playing Control. Okay. Control and Big Thing. Sit. It really seems like they're playing Psychic Corrosion, but I don't know why they have a Ghost Park playing them.
Do we have a cancel? We do have a cancel. It's painful. Well, this looks like our third loss. a way out of this. Uh, we could get Recollect and get our Take Vengeance back. Other than that, uh, sure, Souls, Vomit Pad. Combat with the bugler. Uh, Thornhide wolves and then triple block to kill the twins. Yeah. That's possible. Essence scatter. So I'd still die. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Good cards from our opponent. I thought they were doing uh, psychic corruption, but they actually had some pretty good stuff. Three losses and three wins. It's not too bad. We're going to win those guys. 300 uh, things, whatever they are. Is. Great. Um, okay, that's all for this. Uh, <laughs> for this one. Wow, that was a bit long, I think. Two hours. Okay. Well, I'll see you maybe in the next one, uh, which will be right after this.